This method is used to replace solder mask or coatings on circuit boards at BGA component locations. BGA component locations provide unique challenges due to their inaccessibility after reflow, exposure to high temperatures, and requirement that BGA pads are generally surrounded by solder mask. Vias and circuits that are exposed may cause shorting or BGA solder joint starvation. The minimum skill level needed to complete this procedure reliably is intermediate. The conformance level reached when this procedure is completed properly is high. To complete this procedure, you will need the following tools and materials. Alcohol swabs. These are self-saturating disposable foam swabs filled with isopropyl alcohol. They're ideal for removing flux residue and cleaning surfaces prior to soldering, coating, and application of epoxy. Cleaner, a general purpose solvent for manually removing fluxes and contamination. Cleaning brushes. These disposable brushes are primarily used with solvents for cleaning. Color agents. Color agents are used to tint the color of epoxy used for solder mask repair or circuit baseboard repair. Color agents can also be applied directly to a circuit board surface for color matching. Foam swabs. These disposable swabs are ideal for absorbing cleaning solvents and for applying color agents and epoxies. Microscope. It's a challenge to undertake precision repair and rework without a good microscope. Microprobes. These super sharp probes are manufactured from high quality stainless steel. They include a plastic grip for easy handling. These inexpensive disposable probes are ideal for dispensing a minute amount of epoxy and for micro positioning of small objects. Oven. A general purpose oven for drying, baking, and curing. Wipes. Non abrasive, low linting wipes for cleanup. The procedure follows Step 1. Clean the area. Surfaces to be coated must be thoroughly cleaned prior to coating to ensure adequate adhesion, minimized corrosion, and optimized electrical properties. Step 2. Remove all excess solder from the BGA pad and vias using solder braid or desoldering tools. BGA pad should be flat and the vias clear of solder. Vias with solder trapped inside may volcano underneath the reflowed component. It is important to remove the solder if possible. Step 3. Scrape solder off the dog bone section between the BGA pad and connecting via. This is to prevent solder from flowing down the dog bone path to the via location. Step 4. Mix the epoxy or replacement coating. Step 5. Apply the replacement coating to the board surface as required. Apply a thin coating to prevent interference with the component placement. Step 6. Cure the epoxy per procedure 2.7 epoxy mixing and handling. If you need further help and prefer to send your circuit boards out for repair or rework, contact Circuit Technology Center. If you wish to purchase the tools and materials needed to complete this procedure at your facility, contact Circuit Medic.